because that, again, is one of those beautiful symbols of tradition. And that's what we have in here. The tra not only the tradition, the history, and all of the background that goes way back <laughs> the Egyptian days, but not the today's feeling. The fact that Chagall himself was a victim of the uh, World War II when he came to the United States and what he did was take his beautiful talents and make them worldwide. Now, do you notice what I thought first? Did I see the inside first? No. You see the outside of the form, and then you start working on the inside. Remember that. See the big things first, and then the little things, somehow they take care of themselves. That's the way it works in life, and that's the way it is with painting. <laughs> it really is. OK, and I'm going back and establish the face, which is within that form and make it as beautiful as you want. You could make it a symbol of someone you know. Why not? The nice thing about Chagall's work is that it's free, it's expressive, and the uh, information is there. It does look like a face, but you don't have to spend hours and hours creating a lifetime face. All you do is get the idea of it. Now, here's her beautiful thin neck, and it's coming down over this way. You see how it's shaping up? A genius is not necessary to be. <laughs> Just simply enjoy the feeling of creating on your own and seeing how simply you, too, can take a blank canvas and can turn it into a painting in just minutes with this very easy method. Now, on top, over here, there is the indication of something that the bride is stepping out from, and it's a very beautiful coloring, so we're going to put the indication of it, and then I'm going to take my finger and a little bit of red and some yellow, just on my finger, you can do that too, and tap it in there. See, that gives you the feeling of some more, what we call texture. Then I'm going to take my finger, wipe it off, and soft blend it, see, by tapping. It's just dabbing and tapping. If you can use your nose or your toes to get an effect, why not? <laughs> it's fun. But I'm just softening that because I put in enough so that it gave me something to play with. Now I'm going to go down on the bottom here, skipping around and counterbalance this with something down here. Now it's darker. So I'm going to put a little bit of the brown and a touch of the blue. I'm picking that up here and a touch of the yellow. Yes, you can work color over color. See, just putting it in like that they will mix right on the palette, right here, where you want it to be, on your canvas. And I'm just going to go up and down like that and spread it around. Notice I wipe my finger in between. That's another little technique. Oh, a lot of artists may not tell you that, but it is very, very easy to do. But coming back here, I'm going to work from the light part down into the dark. Not the dark up into the light, but from the light down so that I can have control and clean and wipe it off every few taps. This part over here could be blended in a little bit more. Now, we're working from what is called the cartoon or the sketch that was done by Chagall after much thought and much feeling of what he wanted to portray. He wanted the soul of Judaism, the soul of humanity, to come out in this. This is a very important thing to him. He, he donated his services. This whole thing was a gift to the world not just to Jerusalem, but to everybody, to be able to understand and have the knowledge and be able to recognize the forms, even though they're free and they're very modern, their movement. He, even his choice of color is indicative of the reaction that he wanted the people to have, the bright, beautiful, cheerful, imaginative colors he used in King David and around him. And the total background had an earthy tone, the people of the earth, and they were going, the whole story, one thing leads to the other. Look, see, don't just say, I like a picture and I don't like a picture. Start really looking to see, ask yourself why you may like it, why you don't like it. You know, you respond to color and you respond not only to the shape of it and the subject matter, but the colors as well. And Chagall knew, oh, he was smart, he really knew. Let's go look over and see how he handled the people and how you too can learn from the handling of the people themselves. And see, even though they were a massive group in this exodus, and they represented, as I say, the historical from Egypt, the Holocaust, and modern day problems, 
all of these things have 